In this video, we are going to discuss on 4.1c how to determine the system of linear inequalities defined by the feasible region. Look at example 1. So example 1, we need to determine the system of linear inequalities which satisfy the feasible region in the diagrams below. So before we proceed with this question, let's remember what we had learned in lecture 1. So as a revision from the lecture 1, we already learned on how to find the feasible region with the given system of linear inequalities. So here student, we are given the feasible region. So this is the feasible region. Okay, and then what we need to do is we need to find the respected system of linear inequalities. So it works the other way around from the last lectures. So students, are you ready? Let's do it together. Okay. So now let's look at the step. So the first step, we need to identify the border. So here we need to find how many border that the region has. So the region has this is the first border. So we write it as one. This is the second border and third border and this is the fourth border. So this region has four border. Then after that we need to find equation for each of the border. So let's remember from your school you already know how to find the equation for linear right. So there are three ways in order to write the equation for linear graph. So the first one we have y equals to mx plus c where c is y intercept. Okay student? Okay. And then the second way where we write as y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 where m is for gradient. Okay. And then the third way is x over x intercept plus y over y intercept equals to 1 and note that your x intercept and your y intercept does not equal to 0. If you have x intercept or y intercept equal to 0 that means x over 0 will be undefined. So you should know that everything divided by 0 we will get undefined. Okay, is undefined. Okay, so now let's start with the first border. So the first border we have the solid line Okay, and it is the vertical line. Please remember when it is vertical line, so it's referring to the x coordinate. Okay, so it's referring to the x coordinate. So it means that it is when x equals to 0. So here we have x equals to 0, and then the shaded part is on the right hand side. It means that it should be greater or equal to. 0. Okay, since we have solid line, so we have equal sign here. Since it is on the right hand side, so it should be greater than or equals to 0. Okay, so this is the first border. And then the second border, okay, also we have the solid line, but here it is horizontal line. So when it is the horizontal line, it means it's referring to the y coordinate. Okay, so here we have the solid line when y equals to 0. Let's see the shaded part. Okay, the shaded part is on the upper side. So this is the upper side. It means that it should be greater than or equals to 0. Okay, because the shaded part must be greater than 0. So we will have the second inequalities is y greater than or equals to 0. Next, for the third border here, okay, again we have the solid line. Solid line. Now, we are given two coordinates. So, what are the coordinates? The first, we have 7, 0. And the second, 4, 3. So, which way that we need to use? Okay, let's choose the second way. Where we write as y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. So here, let's find the m first. Okay. Your m will be 3 minus 0 over 4 minus 7. Okay. So you will get 
3 over negative 3 and your m is negative 1 so here I will use x1 y1 is 7 0 ok let's put inside the equation that we have 1 minus 0 equals to negative 1 x minus 7 so y equals to negative x plus 7 then let's see the shaded part the shaded part is below the line so this is below the line ok below the line that means y less than or equals to negative x plus 7 since it below the line so the notation will be less than or equal so this is the third inequalities next the last inequalities which is the last border ok for the fourth border we have when the line is y equals to 3 so you should know that this is the border so the border equation is y equals to 3 ok the shaded part the shaded part is below the line ok so this is below the line it means that y less than or equals to 3 so this is the fourth border so we need to write the systems of linear inequalities so let's write it first one x greater than or equals to 0 second y greater than or equals to 0 third y less than or equals to negative x plus 7 and the fourth border y less than or equals to 3 so student you should know that here we have two borders for y coordinate so we can combine it so we can write like this 0 y is greater than or equals to 0 and y is less than or equals to 3 so this is your answer ok next example ok we are given the shaded region here and then the first step again we need to identify the border so this shaded region has three borders so let's denote this as the first border and this is the second border this is the third border so there are three borders for this region next step we need to find equation for each of the border so we have three ways ok let's see the first border for the first border we have the vertical line and again the vertical line denote as x coordinate so here is when x equals to 0 so x equals to 0 and the shaded part is on the right hand side when it is on the right hand side it means that x greater than or equals to 0 so this is the first inequalities that we have then the second border ok the second border we are given two points which is 0 0 and 1 1 so let's choose which way that we can use to be easy we can choose the first way which is y equals to mx plus c ok so let's find the m first so your m will be 1 minus 0 over 1 minus 0 so your m is 1 the gradient is 1 how about c what is c c is y intercept so your y intercept is when x equals to 0 so your y intercept is 0 as well so you can write it like this y equals to your m is 1 times x plus 0 it means y equals to x ok then the border is the solid line ok and the shaded part is upper the line so when it is upper the line it means that greater or equals to x ok so y is greater or equals to x so this is the second border now let's see the third border so this is the third border ok the third border we are given two point which is 1 1 and 3 0 so let 
our x1, y1 is 3, 0 to be easy. So first thing first, we need to find your m. So your m will be 1 minus 0, 1 minus 3. So we will get 1 over negative 2. So your m is negative 1 over 2. Okay. So let's put inside the equation where y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. So it will be y minus 0 equals to negative 1 over 2 x minus 3. So y equals to negative 1 over 2 x plus 3 over 2. Okay. So we can rewrite it like this. 2y equals to negative x plus 3. Since both term here, okay, the first term over 2 and the second term also over 2, so we can bring 2 to the other side. So it will be 2y equals to negative x plus 3. So the line is solid line. Okay, this is solid line and it is below the line. So the shaded part is below the line. It means that 2y less than or equals to negative x plus 3. Okay. So, this is the last order. So, rewrite your inequalities. The first one, x greater than or equals to 0. The second one, y greater than or equals to x. And the third order, 2y less than or equals to negative x plus 3. Okay. Next example, we are given the shaded region is here. Okay. So we need to identify the border. So the border is this is the first border, this is the second border, and this dotted line will be the third border. So this is dotted line. Please remember. Then we need to find equation for each of the border. So these are the three ways to write the equation for the linear. So you can see here, for the first border, we are given the y-intercept and also the x-intercept. So this is the x-intercept and this is the y-intercept. So we can use the third way, which is x over x-intercept plus y over y-intercept equals to 1. So the point is 0, 4, and negative 8, 0. So the equation that we will get is x over negative 8 plus y over 4 equals to 1. So simplify your equation, we will get such as negative x over 8 plus y over 4 equals to 1. So we should use the same denominator so here we can times 2, okay, so it will get negative x plus 2y over 8 equals to 1. Negative x plus 2y equals to 8. 2y equals to 8 plus x. Since it is the solid line, okay, it is the solid line and the shaded region is below the line. Okay, so this is below the line. Okay, student, when it is below the line, it means that 2y less than or equals to 8 plus x. Okay, so this is the first inequalities that we get. 2y less than or equals to 8 plus x. Next, for the second border, also we are given the, I will be using the different in so that you can see it clearly. Okay. We are given the y intercept negative 3 and the x intercept is negative 3 as well. So the point that we are given is negative 3 0 and 0 negative 3. So we can also use the third way to write the equation x over negative 3 plus y over negative 3 equals to 1. 
So we can write negative x negative y over 3 equals to 1. Negative x negative y equals to 3. Okay. Please remember your y must be positive and it is on the left hand side. So y equals to negative x minus 3. Okay. So now let's see. It is the solid line. So this is solid line. And the region is upper the line. So this is upper the line. So y greater than or equals to negative x minus 3. Okay. So this is the second inequalities. And then for the last border. Okay. For the last border. Third inequality. Again. We are given the y-intercept and the x-intercept. So, the point is 3, 0 and 0, negative 5. Okay. So, x over 3 plus y over negative 5 equals to 1. x over 3 minus y over 5 equals to 1. So, we can rewrite it like this y over 5 equals to x over 3 minus 1. So, you should know what I did. Okay. So, you can leave it your equation like this. Now, you need to determine whether this is broken line or solid line. This is broken line there. So, it means there is no equal sign. Then, the shaded part is the upper part. This is upper part. That means y over 5 greater than x over 3 minus 1. Okay. So, this is your third inequalities. You can rewrite your inequalities. Okay. Like this. Y greater than 5x over 3 minus 5. Where you bring your 5 to the right hand side. So, you need to rewrite your answer. So, your answer will be the first border is 2y less than or equals to 8 plus x. Then the second border is y greater than or equals to negative x minus 3. Then the third border is y greater than 5x over 3 minus 5. So this is your answer.